the second half, what adjustments did you feel like you needed to make? Because it looked like you guys really did kind of go to the ground and, and try to use that as a strength. Felt like we could, you know, wanted to get back and run the ball inside and out early on. We thought the plan would have been inside. Like, also, you know, like we wear them out. That was the plan going in. We wanted to run the ball, try to wear them out. I don't know if we ever really did, uh, but that was the plan. And, and Siler, what what did you see his strengths coming in, and how do you feel like you were able to utilize those? He needs some plays in the run game, there's no doubt. He managed the game really well, made some good decisions. we got to continue to work on throwing the ball, not just with Siler, but in general on offense, matching that up with our run game. Um, but he, I thought he managed. He played really hard, well, and he had some nice pulls. And he kept the ball in the right hand. Is it hard to find that balance when you're having so much success in one aspect yeah. of the game? Yeah, it is. Because sometimes you feel like you know I'm going to take a shot down the field when the run game's going. But we just started to keep pounding it and work out. And how pleased are you with the four minute offense in general? Both games. It seems like you've been able, like you said, you finish the game with the ball in your hands. Right. You're doing everything you need. Please, there. Yeah, no doubt. Be able to finish the game on the field, taking a knee. So that's what you want to do. There, there wasn't really that many pass, you know, deep passing routes this week. Was that kind of the idea with Siler being more of the mobile quarterback? And no, that's well, kind of what they were giving us. I mean, that's some of this, our success in the run game is because they were playing pretty high. It was kind of forcing us to be methodical going down the field. Uh, we called a couple ones, and they, you know, they were over the top of things, and Siler tucked it and, and didn't force it into coverage. So I thought I made good decisions there. How big is it to have a guy like Siler, big, bulky, but still can throw, still a dual, literal dual threat quarterback in the red zone? Can you talk about that? Oh, yeah, it's a piece. I mean, to be able to keep the ball and, and run with it, you know. Uh, he's, a, he's a threat there. Uh, I can, I think he throws a good touch, too, so, you know, we want to pack the thing in. We need to throw it. He can do that.